Hello and welcome to Dungeon Defenders. Um, out now for free on PC. Uh, it actually just came out for PS4. I think last week or this week uh, for 15 bucks. Originally released on early access on December uh, last year, and now it is still in early access, but now free to play. And so that was the original intent of this game was to be free to play. And I'm a little bit worried here. So early access, I, I like. I'm okay with. Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna. You're gonna. It's gonna be a paid early access, and we're gonna develop it. And then once we're out of early access, we're gonna. It's gonna be free. And so like, okay, yeah. You give them a few bucks. You know, twenty bucks, fifteen bucks, whatever. It's like, hey, I get early access to this game. The game will be broken, but you know, I mean, not broken, broken, but there will be a lot of bugs. And um, yeah, that that sounds cool. But now they're in a open beta, open. Alpha, you can buy this game on PS4, but there, there also is a $15, there's little microtransactions that are uh, they're going to be removed in the next few months on Steam, that's what they say, but I'm a little bit suspicious about people just shooting out Alpha and Beta, way too common. Uh, the game seems pretty decent, uh, I've noticed some bugs where um, it seems like a very common bug, so I don't know what's going on with that, but yeah. This is Dungeon Defenders 2, a, the next installment in the Dungeon Defenders um, franchise. Originally, that came out to iOS and then Android, which is really weird. Um, they also came out for PS3, Xbox 360, uh, and then PC. Uh, then there was a huge thing with DLC on the, uh, the PC. Um, but yeah, slowly they abandoned the, um, the Android versions and the iOS version. The Android version did become free, too. Later on, the Humble Bundle had featured it, and then they said, Hey, I guess we're gonna keep these servers up, even though the game's dead. So, it's weird. Um, but yeah, let's actually just... Let's see here. <laughs> you choose between three different characters. Uh, here, here. Let's unlock it. Can I do this? Hmm. Okay, so I guess I can't. Weird, I'm not at five. Hmm. Fifth hero. So you can, at the start of the game, you can choose between three, the four heroes, if you ever played the Dungeon Defenders. Uh, it's the same heroes. Monk, uh, Archer, and, uh, Knight, and Wizard. The, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the Monk is just a fast melee guy. The, um, the Knight is a slow, uh, melee guy, but, you know, high health. And the wizard is, you know, high output damage. Self-explanatory. Um, the only difference is, again, you know, damage. I think the monk actually does some range attack. Uh, the ranger, the, the, the elf, the ranger, the archer does do ranger, uh, range damage. So, so is the monk, uh, and the wizard. And then there's different, so this is a tower defense game. So there's different, you know, towers between the, uh, the different classes. And it really doesn't tell you what, what things are. I, I don't know what any of these towers do. Uh, you know, they show them in the bottom. So you get abilities, too, in the bottom. So we got... As we unlock, so we got the blue gems, which... I don't just call it mana. And then green gems, which are your mana for your buying money. So uh, we can we can place some down here. Also, if you didn't know, there's other people in here. This is kind of MMO-ish style, where it's going to throw you when you first start the game. If you don't start it in private, you will be thrown into a tavern. Uh, with other people. Now, it's not everybody playing the game, but it is, um, it's gonna be a few people, probably like 12 people. And from here, there's no, there's no purpose of this. Um, you're, I mean, you can communicate with these people, so hey, if I wanna, uh, you know, invite them to a party, I think that's, is that what it's saying? Invite? In invite, I think that says invite to party, I don't know. This game came out almost a year ago and seems to be a lot of bugs, but it's not bad. And then we can, you know, oh, here we, here we go, invite to party, you know, and then add the friend. So there's nothing much here, um, but this is where, like, the hub is. So you can even report a uh, bug to this guy. There's some NPCs here. There's a blacksmith that sells some stuff, but, like, you know, it really doesn't do anything here. Some of these stuffs are, like, way out of your league. Um... This game is kind of a, uh, you know, outside of it being a tower defense game, it is also a, like, loot-driven game, very similar to, um, Diablo. So you find all sorts of different, um, different weapons, bows, armor. So right now we got a bow, um, a basic armor, helmet, chest piece, legs, 
gloves, and then a relic, which consists of a totem, a medallion, or a ring, and each uh, between the two differ in terms of uh, what they are. And so we have a pet here, and then we have the... Th seems like three different um, currencies here. So we have the regular standard gold, and then we have this zero thing. This uh, looks like a hydralisk, and then the uh, at sign. So this is the uh, the paid money you can get. Uh, if you buy any of the um, any of the DLC the any of the DLC packs, they got like fifteen dollars will give you twenty. And so these are like I, I'm pretty sure these are cosmetic. Um, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, you know, I, I, I my quick overviews are always like, hey, I'll come back and see what they are. So what's this? I have fucking no idea what any of this does. Actually, when you start the game, you pick your character, and it just drops you into the the first level, and you really have no idea what you're doing. Um, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's weird, but it's a, like a it's an okay game. Um, it has that early access jank, and then you throw it into it. Oh, it is a free to play jank. Like you're gonna expect less. So we have people just testing their uh, towers. So like I can I can place a tower here, but my towers, the archer doesn't seem like they have basic towers. Like have traps, so it doesn't do anything. So they have to have to be there. So it, it's weird. Here's some other stuff. But yeah, it, it's it's weird. Like it's, it's like there's no point of throwing us in here. Um, I don't know. It's I mean we can't. Can we chat in here? Oh, we can chat in here. Okay. Um, what else we got here? Just some some shit we can buy. Here, here's a ring. So ring's gonna have ability, power, hero crate, and then it's totem's gonna have more defensive, and then the medallion's gonna be more uh, defensive too. What the fuck? My player defensive and all that stuff. So in terms of like leveling and all that stuff, it's pretty standard. Um, Jesus, this UI is just so cumbersome. You know, you can choose between your character's abilities, so we can, you know, boost up the uh, these, or your turret's abilities, you know, increased health, increased he damage, increased, um, I think range? Yeah, defense speed, okay. Uh, defense critical damage and tower range. And then we have hero crit, ability power. Ability power is, of course, your abilities. And then here we have the, um, you know, basic stuff. So this is your crit chance there, and your, um, Hero magic resist. Your physical is a resist. We can also reset. Does that actually cost anything? Let me see. God. Boom. Jesus. Okay. What's this cost? Okay. It costs. It does cost some money, but not that much. It's only fifteen hundred. Uh, stat sheets. Fierce. I, maybe later. Tell us what's going on here. Okay. But yeah, if you played any of the past Dungeon Defenders, it's very similar. I guess they streamlined some of the stuff. I didn't like Dungeon Defenders in the first time. Uh, it was really... It, sem it seemed poor. You had to play with people. And if you didn't, it would just like... I don't know. And s they seemed to clean that up. Also, the bloom in that game was really gnarly. Like, it just looked really nasty. It just looked like a really just bloomed out. I hate Bloom. I think Bloom is the most overused um, post-processing that's just like really doesn't help anything. That's why I hate a lot of Nintendo games. They use Bloom the fuck out. Um, Legend of Zelda oh, Wind Waker just like totally bloomed out. What the fuck is that? Seems like it be a bug? Hmm. Yeah, you will see all sorts of bugs. So let's uh, let's get into the game. When you join your social t uh, table, uh, you can join private if you want. Uh, you hit your war table, and this is your campaign. We can do private or quick. And once you do the campaign, you get some other stuff, intrusion, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you, you have a full list of uh, missions to do, so we got this new one here. And so we just click on it and find match. The one thing I don't like about this is it's not going to put you in a new game. It's not going to start a new game. It's just going to start throw you into a game sometimes already in progress, I think. There we are. So we're it okay. So it's already been in progress and I I can't do anything, so I just have to go. Crap. Okay. Um but yeah, the le levels look cool, um, the art style looks cool, but yeah, just like a typical, you know, Orcs Must Die, Dungeon Defenders, they come out from different corners, 
Okay, come on. Let's go. Uh, let's, I'm, I'm going to defend the other side. So, because I have no uh, green mana, I can't build anything. Chests will spawn across the map. So they these chests will s turn green and you can pick up one at a time. Uh, here we have some ch things here. I'm just going to sit back. And we should go. That's a cool level. Now the frame rate on that, uh, that water is shitty. But yeah, it's just like... The problem I'm so I'm problem I'm seeing is if somebody puts a tur a, a, uh, a trap too close, it will uh, the mob is in a safe area, which is shouldn't there shouldn't be in a safe area. There shouldn't be like that buffer. That's stupid because we're just like there. There's nothing here. There's no challenge. So what would happen? They'll be in there and they would just be attacking, and you can't kill him. So it bug out. So, again, green gems on the ground, man, blue gems, blue gems ability, green gems are, um, are, uh, turrets, or towers, and so these are the, um, these are the, uh, squires, I think that's what they call them. So let's, uh, let's put one down here. Alright, there. You can build any time, but it's faster when it's build time. So I build, the ranger builds traps. But yeah, this is this is pretty much the game. Like it's, I mean, it's gonna bring in a lot more people when it's free to play because you know barrier entry. But I don't think it's gonna harm the game either because it's such a um, simple game. Like it's, I mean, you really don't need much. I'm probably gonna spend more time just playing the game, trying to show it off. Okay, here we got build phase, and okay, so I got three stat points I can equip do, and we're just gonna pile that up. So, uh, since I really don't have any abilities, or my turrets, my, um, my, um, towers are not really towers, they're just traps. So here, they're, on the mini-map you see in the top right, we see the blue eyes, that's, the, the purple eyes, that's where they spawn, and then the green gems, that's where these chests just could be. And you just pop it once, and you get a bunch of that. So, there we go. So each thing will will have items and they will, won't disappear. You can also go into your inventory and just hit auto collect and so that will auto collect all your items at the beginning of the thing. So let's uh uh let's uh, let's put some mines here. Actually, let's we can also upgrade. We can also repair. Let's do upgrade. There we go. Get to go. And uh, we press G to start. And we're good to go. Make sure to go around. You can collect coins, but again, some of that stuff is not going to start. Each map is different. You know, it all has a different... You know, we got to defend this. Where is ours? Oh, it's over here? Yeah, it's that. You know, we can see where they're going to come. Like, Mountain Pass, it's going to be, you know, 20 over there. That's blocked, so there's nobody coming out of there. Um, yeah. So, it's, I mean, self-explanatory. So, we got some people coming out of this one. And then, of course, there's uh, activate traps here that can, that will, um, you know, we activate this. Activatables. So, come on. So, it seems like not a lot of people know G actually starts the game. Some of the UI is a little bit, like, hard to see. And that guy just left. Cool. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna, is that guy gonna be here? I'm gonna be over here.
Yeah, I mean, it's 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 simple. Um, I don't know if they've maybe later on they will add a like an endless wave. I always everybody loved the endless uh, uh, waves of mobs in these tower defense games. I I really like these uh, engaged tower defense games. Uh, War Shift reminded me of this in a sort of a bad way. Um, I I need to I need to contact the developer saying like, hey, I can't fucking play your game. Well, yeah, I mean, like, saying it's alpha in the bottom right is a little bit like, no, it's not. Here we go, and we're done with that. Let's see. And it, okay. Then, at the final wave, there's, like, some sort of boss. Um, like, a, it's a mini-boss that we're we're encountering, and then the campaign will have, like, hey, here's the, uh, the, uh, you know, the big boss. I think there's only still only one um, thing, but still, we're like just quickly going through this. So it's just, is it only two? It's only, okay, so it, Is it only two or one? Okay, it's probably just, it's still probably two. Okay, let's, uh. Yep. Um, yeah. Gold. And there's a limit on how many towers you can put. So I can't put any more. Alright. Mary, I guess. Yeah, there it is. Bottom left, you said auto collect items. And then I have an abilities that uh, with mana, so I can just like call it like an air an airstrike type of thing. Do that. Stuff is really fucking easy. Maybe the scaling, their scaling is wrong or something. And then right click, I have an uh, extra ability here, a charge ability. Weapons will have different properties. I'll show you uh, after we uh, we finish this up. So top right, um, we got our wave. So actually, it looks like a wave. And then how many mobs we have left? There we go, that's one thing. But yeah, it, it's... I mean, they call it Alpha, but there's like... This game's been in development for a while, and it's a sequel too, so like, why... Call it an Alpha? And then at the end, we get a, we get a, our own little chest here of our loot. Loot is yours. If you see loot, that's always gonna be yours. We got some thing here. Whoa, what is this? We got a bigger chest. That's never happened. There we go. Ooh, I got some blues here. Cool, a bunch of stuff. Okay, I think we're good to go. And then when everybody hits G, it's going to throw us into a private little tavern. And then we, from there, we can start again. Or uh, they leave. So we activate that. Huh. There we go. I have no idea what this does. Just really fucking weird UI, like very interesting. Doesn't seem to be any difference when clicking on people. So like between him and me, it's the same and then different from here. Fucking no idea. So we can also return replay or return to uh, tavern. Loads fine. Looks fine. Runs fine. You know, we're gonna you're gonna encounter some gameplay bugs, but visually no bugs here. And then you get a quest. Okay, we got that. There's some quests. Pretty much just do that, and we'll do more of this. There we go. So what kind of loot we got? We got all sorts of fucking loot. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a lot of loot. Uh, so yeah, so we got a nice big upgrade here. A 
incorporate here. Eh. Raid level. Um, okay, that looks like an upgrade. Side grade. Side grade. So you can see in the thumb, you know, side grade, side grade, side grade, side grade, side grade. Uh, and the weapons, you know, it says shots per second, um, and then sometimes they split. The current weapon I have that's equipped that has a burst fire, so they all split at once. I've seen encountered some that are actually a um, a fucking um, shotgun, and then they also have a little bit of a, other personal properties here for damage. Uh, huh. Standard. There's some loot, just all sorts of different loot here. But that's, um... That's... Dungeon Defenders 2, for the... What patch is this? I don't know, what version is this? I don't know. It's... It's okay, it's... I mean, it's... I am a little disgusted that it's still like in early access and now they're going free to play and still calling it early access and still calling it alpha. That's like, okay, you do know that now that it's free, that everybody's going to try it and it's going to overwhelm probably you. And there still seems to be some few bugs in here. And then it's just like, why even call it alpha? Might as well call it beta or something. I don't know. None of that shit means anything now. Since betas are now demos. Shit. What's the next step before alpha? Before alpha, not pre. I guess pre-alpha. Pre-alpha is under the new betas. <laughs> what do we got here? Take this. Okay. Blah blah blah. Okay. Hero damage. Let's do heroes. Hero damage. There we go. Okay. Uh, skill. Okay. Okay. But uh, as always, thanks for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. Um, what the hell is that? Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Bye.